Okay, Assalamualaikum. Hi, hi everyone. So, we continue with dimensions. Okay, number of vectors in basis. We have theorem. All bases of for a finite dimensional vector space have the same number of vectors. Okay, let V, okay, theorem 5.4.2. Let V the a finite dimensional vector space and let S equals to V1, V2 until Vn be any basis if a set has more than n vectors then it is linearly dependent. If a set has fewer than n vectors is that does not span V. Okay, definition one. The dimension of a finite dimensional vector space V is denoted by dim V. Okay, this is called dimension. And is defined to be the number of vectors in a basis for V. The zero vector space is defined to have a dimension zero. Okay, example, if we have dimension R the power of n equals to n dimension p n equals to n plus 1 and dimension m m times n equals to m n if we have set of s which is linearly independent then s is automatically a basis for span s where dimension dimension span s equals to n example okay example dimension of a solution space okay say okay we solve okay let's see example 3 in the books this is in page 222 two, two, eh? okay Linear, linear algebra okay okay example 3 dimensions of a solution space find a basis and the dimensions of the solution, solution space of the homogeneous functions you are given this equation okay so so in this example we find that actually we have discussed in uh, example C of section 1.2 so you can uh, can go you can find this uh, these solutions in section C in section 1.2 example 6 so we have uh, derived it and we find the solution of the system is x1 okay x1 x2 x3 x4 x5 and x6 so, which can be written in the vector form as x1, x2, x6, until x6 is equal to, you write the value of x1, x1, x2, x3, x4, and x6. Okay? So, also, uh, alternatively, you also can write okay x1 x2 x6 ni equals to r plus s plus t so okay how to write this one just now if you see here so you uh, what you can write here is if you see r okay if you see r here Okay, sorry. Okay, if you see here R, take all the values of R. For X1, you have X1, you have R, X2, R, X3, no. So, what you can write is R, for R is equals to negative 3 and 1. Okay, so this is X1. This is for x1, x2, x3, x4, 
Okay, this is for X1. This is X2. Okay, ni X3. X4. X5 and X6. Okay, for S, you if you see S, S only, we, uh, we have the in neg X1, negative 4. Okay, X2, 0. X3 is negative 2. Okay, X4, 1. And the others are 0. Alright. And for T, T we can see only in X1, 2, negative 2, X, and X5. The others are 0. Alright. So, this shows that the vectors V1, so vectors, this is called vectors V1. Okay. This is called vectors V1. V2, V2, this is V2, and V, V3. Alright? So, span the solution space. We leave it for you okay, to check the vectors are linearly dependent or not. Okay? So, thus, thus the solution space has dimension of 3. Okay? So, just now you want to find the basis and the dimension. Eh? You want to find the basis. Just now you want to find the basis and the dimension. Okay, basis and dimension. So, you have got the answer for the basis and dimension. Okay, this is dimension. This is the basis all right then we want to see the plus minus theorem